Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got some beautiful Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs to share with you. The last one was actually inspired by my dad. He had an idea for it. So I think it turned out pretty cute, so stick around for that one. Now for the first one, I'm actually going to be making a tiered stand using these little wood pallets that I got in Dollar Tree. Now I actually never saw these in Dollar Tree, so I ended up placing an online order to get this box. It comes with two different types of wood pallets in here, and I'm gonna use both of them for this tiered stand, actually. I'm gonna be using six of the flatter, more rectangle ones with some wood glue, attaching them all together to create the base. And then for the next tier up, I'm gonna be using four of the more square pallets and gluing those together as well. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and give these a chance to dry. And I also wanted to tell you guys a way you can get some extra cash back on your Dollar Tree purchases and on your holiday shopping and spending. So thank you so much to Top Cash Back for sponsoring today's video. I made my online purchases through them. I have been using them for months now and I've definitely been saving a lot of money, earning money back on purchases that I was already going to be making. That is amazing. If you ask me I always look for ways to save and there's not too many ways that you can save on Dollar Tree items but using top cash back is one of the ways that you can not only save money on that but if you go through the online ordering there are some really cool pieces that are online that you may not be able to get in the store a lot of you guys have told me like you don't find some of this stuff in your store and not only can you pay to have it shipped to your house you can actually just have it shipped for free to a local store and then you can just pick it up at the store it is completely free to sign up with them. You just use your email and make a password and they work with over 4,000 retailers, including popular ones like Sephora, Walmart, Target, Dollar General, Amazon, and of course Dollar Tree too, which is amazing. All you do is go to topcashback.com and then search for whatever store that you wanna use. I'm shopping at Dollar Tree today. Click on that and it just takes you right to Dollar Tree's website now and it will be recording whatever purchases you make so you will get your cash back it is as easy as that. One thing I see on Dollar Tree's website right now that I know you guys are gonna love is this village set for $13. I believe it comes with everything shown here. When I looked through this, of course you can get the pieces individually in store if you can find them, but how awesome is this to just make a one-click purchase and you can get the complete set of the Christmas Village. I honestly don't think I've even actually seen all of the Christmas Village pieces in a store at one time. They can be so hard to find. I also ordered the Buffalo Check charger plates for my mom. If you saw when we decorated at her house, I ordered those online a couple weeks ago as well. And if you aren't familiar with Dollar Tree's site, under the Extreme Values section, they have something called pick and pack where you can get smaller quantities of a lot of items like picture frames and different glassware and stuff like that that we use for so many DIY projects and sometimes I know like it's hard to find the nine inch vases in the store some people have told me that but they're available online with just a minimum order of four pieces so I will most definitely be using top cashback for all my online holiday shopping because they give a hundred percent of the commission back to their members which means you and I get more cash back there's no minimum for for a payout and you can also choose whether you want to receive your cash back as a deposit into your bank account as a PayPal or you can pick to get it as a gift card and if you pick to get it as a gift card to whatever store you want to get it to a lot of them I saw had like a boost where they might give you like an extra three percent five percent eight percent something like that of additional cash back um, for taking the money as a gift card and if that's not enough you can also use my link down below you'll get an additional ten dollars in cash back for free when you sign up and make your first $25 purchase through Top Cashback. So click the link, check it out. Once the wood glue was all dry, I came up with an interesting idea for the center. I decided to reuse an upside down glass vase here. I just used hot glue, but you might want to consider using E6000 or something like that, something with a stronger hold, just depending what you plan to put on here. So my thought was that I could place a battery operated candle in here under the glass or add in twinkle lights like I'm doing here. So I actually decided to just set the center piece 
on here so I can take my twinkle lights out if I change my mind. But you could totally glue everything if you prefer because the wire from the twinkle lights can fit through the palette boards anyway. So it's totally up to you. And I'm just debating whether or not to come back and paint this. If you want to spray paint it, go ahead and do that before you attach the glass. It's going to make it a lot easier. Since I didn't, I guess I'll have to come back with a brush and some paint or wood stain later perhaps. I just added some Dollar Tree greenery and Christmas decor on top and placed my coffee mugs and supplies and just some festive little decorations around underneath here. But let me know if you think I should leave it with the light color wood like this natural or paint it white or maybe stain it like a dark walnut brown. What do you think would look best? Go ahead and find me on Instagram at stylemysweets and I will share the finished look. For the next one, I glued together four of these little wooden palettes. I was really glad to be able to find them online. Once the wood glue was dry, I started painting this with a chalk paint and I quickly realized this was going to be super annoying and take forever to get the paint inside all of those little wooden slats. So I just decided to take this outside, move on, and just use a little bit of spray paint in order to cover it. And I decided since I'm doing a lot of red and gold this year that I would just paint this gold. I took one of these chalkboard labels from Dollar Tree. These came in, I think it was a pack of four. How cute are these, right? I think they are so adorable. You could definitely make a bottom for this little wooden crate box, but honestly, I'm just going to keep it in the foyer by my candy cane themed sweets tree. And as it gets closer to Christmas, I'll pick up some real candy canes to stick in here instead, but I think this turned out super cute. For the next one, I took this kid's painting set and I'm using wood glue to add two tumbling tower game blocks at each end. I put these side by side or end to end basically so that I would make them look kind of like handles on a cookie sheet. And then I'm just painting it with like a silver or gray paint, whatever you have. I got this one for less than a dollar in Walmart and this is going to be like a little cookie sheet. And then what I'm doing is arranging the little gingerbread cookie felt stickers from Dollar Tree on here to create a tray of gingerbread cookies. Since I have the Christmas sweets theme going on in the foyer, I thought this would make a cute little addition. And this part is optional, but I decided that rather than waste this little piece of wood, I would glue it onto the back of the tray and just make like a little stand so that the cookie sheet would be easier to see. So when you come in, you can actually see it and it's not laying totally flat on the table. Should I have left that part off or do you like it elevated like this? Let me know, what do you think? Next, I'm taking one of these beautiful glasses from Dollar Tree and this one I actually filled in the etching on it with a gold leafing pen back in one of my fall DIYs and so I'm just reusing this glass now and I'm sticking a round piece of floral foam into the top and then cutting some red roses to fill in all the way around that. Of course, I think this would look super elegant and beautiful with white roses as well so you can totally customize this. I just cut some pieces of the chunky gold glitter branches. Like I said, I'm doing a lot of red and gold this year. And that way I'm filling in around and in between the red roses and in the center. And I think this looks really pretty. Although now I kind of really want to make one with white roses too. If I did one with white roses and silver branches, I bet my mother-in-law would really love that one. All ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Anyway, for the next one, I'm taking one of these Dollar Tree Christmas ornaments. Actually, what are these? Are these supposed to be deer antlers? Because then I saw them on these ornaments with the deer head and I realized, I guess I bought like a broken ornament, but I was just kind of thinking that it could be like wood or sticks or branches. So that is what I got the inspiration for. And I just cut up a couple Dollar Tree Christmas floral picks or branches. I hot glued the little pieces with the berries, the greenery, the pine cones. I just arranged them onto this piece where I wanted them and created a little candle ring here. I actually really like this style candle holder and I think you could fit tea lights or votives in here. 
This next one actually isn't specifically from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if they carry the cinnamon sticks. I honestly don't know where I got these, but I've had them laying around in a package for probably a couple of years and I just decided to do something with them. And all I did was take a little bit of twine. You could take some ribbon, tie them up. I used a little bit of hot glue in between to also help keep them together in that bunch. And I just tied that up and then I added one of these little red and gold, um, you know, little flower bell things from Dollar Tree. These came on a two pack for a dollar. I thought it would be really cute to just add this. You could put this somewhere as a little decoration. I decided to actually hang it in my candy tree. Next up is a wreath, and for this one, I'm actually starting with an oval wooden sign from Dollar Tree's craft section. I painted mine black, but you could leave it natural, or I think you could paint it white. I think that would look good too. And while that's drying, I took some twine and I just tied this little sign into the top of one of these new bamboo wreaths that I found in Dollar Tree. And I took this Believe ornament. I think these are so pretty. And then I just actually glued that right onto the sign. It also comes with a little decoration, which goes perfectly with the Christmas picks that I'm gonna be adding in along the lower half of the wreath. I had them going out toward up toward the left and out and up toward the right. And I just clipped a little red cardinal bird in the center. These were two for a dollar. You could stop there or you could add a bow if you're into that. I actually just decided to get a few more pieces of pine and florals up at the top and then leave it at that. So I actually just deconstructed um, another, a third Dollar Tree pick here. Since I have one and two, I took a third one, took it apart, and I'm just gonna use some of the pieces to add in along the top, maybe a bow, but honestly, I think a bow is gonna end up just being like too much stuff. Angels we have heard on her, sweetly singing all the plains, and the mountains in reply, Echoing the joyous dreams Gloria In excelsis First, I was thinking of taking these little wooden Halloween houses and creating some sort of like a 2D Christmas village houses with them. And then I just never liked how the little one turned out. The little house comes with like a little stand so it can stand up, but the larger house didn't have a stand. So I decided to actually create one for it by taking eight of the tumbling tower game blocks and i just used a bit of wood glue in order to attach all of those together to create a stand and i did two by four and made this long rectangle here and then i used um so you can use wood glue or hot glue whatever you prefer and you can glue your church building or this building here make a house whatever you want to make you can glue that into the center and then you'll have a little stand for it if you have a better idea for how to make a stand, definitely let me know because I feel like there's probably easier ways to do it. Maybe just gluing the blocks along the back of it that might support it. I didn't try, but I bet that it would or maybe something that you could kind of prop it up on. I would love to know your thoughts for the best way to make a stand so that our little house or church building will stand upright. If you have an idea for how to turn these little Halloween houses into a Christmas village and what would give them a more realistic look of like a natural house or a building, bakery, post office, whatever it might be for a town. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. I'm sure everyone would appreciate it. I know I would. I would still like to do something with the little house, but for today, I didn't end up using the little one, so we are just moving on with the large one. In order to get rid of what look, kind of looked like the ghostly curved rooftops, I ended up cutting popsicle sticks to fit along the roof and I thought they were a little too narrow so I came back with the larger popsicle sticks and did that instead and I was a lot happier with that size. Um, at this point though, I kind of thought it was starting to look like a church. I don't know, is that just me? 
But once the paint was dry, because I painted it over white, I took a little leftover bell that I had from one of those little packs that Dollar Tree sells in their Christmas craft section. And I just put that up in the top like a little bell tower on a church. I just used a little dab of hot glue. And I also thought that it would be really fun to add a wreath on here. Now you can easily make one. Otherwise, you could use the one that comes on the deer ornament, or you could get one of these little door ornaments that I just found in Dollar Tree. And that is what I decided to do and it's a little bit larger so I decided to go with that and put that on the front of my church here and I'm sure I will reuse the door. I also came back to do the roof and I decided I wanted to make this more of a snowy church so I took a little bit of Mod Podge and I just kind of brushed that over the tops of the rooftop and a little bit along the base that we made here and then I just sprinkled on a little bit of faux snow on there you could do a little bit of glitter if you want and then it's still really felt to me like something was missing and this is where my dad suggested this part of putting wax paper behind the church here this building so that is what I did I just roughly traced a piece of wax paper large enough that it would just cover all of the windows in the back I used a couple dots of glue on the edges just to keep that wax paper in place and it kind of fills it in to look a little bit like frosted glass I think. Let me know what you think. Do you feel like this gives it a frosted glass look? But my favorite part now is taking these beautiful kind of like amber colored glass candle holders and placing them behind the church so that the candlelight glows through and illuminates all the windows in here. Which idea was your favorite? Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed or you were inspired. Subscribe if you are new here. I would love to have you and don't forget to click the little bell so that you won't miss anything new. Also guys, don't forget to check out Top Cash Back and sign up before you make your next online purchase. It's completely free and you can get money back on the same purchases you are already planning to make. Also, don't forget to use my link below so you'll get that extra ten dollars as well thank you again i wish you a beautiful and blessed day and i will see you soon in the next one bye